Hello everyone, welcome to Virtual Talks. In this video, we will see how a custom input can be used. I have already made few videos in UI platforms where we have a user interface which can be used to give a user or a end user some input or some graphical interface where he can use it to give input or to review some data. But there is also an option for us to take it to the minimalistic level. So what is the difference between custom input and UiPath forms? If you go to UiPath docs, there is information about custom activity. Takes a input as a HTML file. A HTML file should be static and there is no need to host this HTML file in any of the server. And also, when we are creating this HTML file, there are some requirements that are given by UiPath. After creating a HTML file, we should have a script that has window external screen set result which sends out the result object. The result object should be or can be a JSON string. The difference between this and the forms is we need not build JSON string or JSON output in the UiPath forms. There is some flexibility here in this custom activity where we can build our own forms and also we can customize all the values. So if you can see here, there is incomplete custom input form. This incomplete custom input form, though it has all the input values, it is lacking with script. So this is a complete custom input form. This particular page has no limitations. We can create our own designs. We can use our own HTML. We can use our own HTML, CSS and all the scripts. We just need to take the values. If you are aware of some coding, Everything that we are doing here is we are going to get the value from the first name variable, first name input field, second last name and the age. Finally, we are assigning it to some custom string or custom variable passing out the value. This is the important piece of code that should be written so that UiPath is able to read this particular text or read the particular value out of the form. Going back to custom activity, we already have an example which I have downloaded. Well, you have you can also download it from this particular link. It gives out three files, the project.json, a form and a custom input code of UiPath. Well, if you are using latest version of UiPath, then this particular form is not working. I have updated the activities and you can get it from my GitHub. Everything that happens here is just I'm using this custom input URI should be the form URI and the result should be the output string. We are we are sending this in a message box. Let's debug the solution. So this works the same way how a browser works. And let's submit this. We have first name, last name and the age. What are the limitations? Absolutely, I don't see any limitations if you are a developer and if you know some HTML coding, JavaScript coding, and you can use some libraries. Using JavaScript, you can even call some APIs into the forms, into this particular HTML form. 